Hey guys, it's Doug McGuff with Ultimate Exercise Body by Science and DrMcGuff.com. I'm just giving my new uh, video camera and microphone set up a tryout here. I just got off work um, and completed a workout here at Ultimate Exercise, so if I still have N95 imprints on my face, please forgive me. Um, since I was just going to try to record a video and get something up on YouTube, I thought I would talk again about um, mTOR and how it contributes to aging in respect to uh, strength exercise. Once again, I found myself irritated by some discussion on the internet talking about resistance training maybe not being the best thing to do for longevity because there's this data that shows with an overexpression of mTOR that um, rel relative to AMPK, the two major energy uh, signaling molecules in the body, that an overexpression of mTOR results in a shorter lifespan. And it is well known that strength exercise upregulates mTOR. But I think that uh, what happens is when you look at this, and I think the reason people are misinterpreting this is that they are dropping context here. How mTOR is stimulated um, is very important as to whether it has a negative or a positive benefit towards longevity and health. So you got to ask yourself two things. One is, is mTOR being influenced on the supply side or the demand side? And also you got to ask yourself, is this stimulation something that is an acute episodic event or is this a chronic event? Now where mTOR gets a bad rap in terms of aging is when you stimulate mTOR on the supply side and also when you do so, do so in a uh, chronic state. So when you push mTOR through excess energy intake on the supply side and you do that chronically, that chronically upregulates mTOR in a way that is negative towards lifespan and health span. However, if you upregulate mTOR on the demand side and you do so very acutely, that has very positive benefits towards longevity because what you're doing is you're creating a demand for mTOR to be upregulated to um, process energy to replace the energy that you have removed from the body and to replace senescent and dysfunctional proteins that are being turned over in the body. So when you stimulate mTOR from the demand side, that's a very helpful and healthful thing that promotes longevity. Also, you got to remember that mTOR stimulated by resistance exercise is a very high spike that is acute. Human health is very much dependent upon intermittent, episodic, remarkable events. And strength training is such an event. It's very intense, it's very episodic, and it creates an acute spike in mTOR as opposed to stimulating mTOR on the supply side with a chronic overabundance of food and energy. So when everyone's talking about mTOR, don't be scared away from strength training because you're afraid you're going to overstimulate mTOR and somehow affect your longevity. The real truth of the matter is that when you stimulate mTOR from the demand side of the equation and you do so acutely and episodically, it actually promotes health. So just remember, Please do not, um, don't press the like button, don't press the subscribe button, don't hit the notification bell. Instead, go read a book or go out in the real world and do some dope shit. But until next time, this is Doug McGuff for Ultimate Exercise, Body by Science, and DrMcGuff.com. I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.